Oh god, I crashed into a friendly. Oh god, we're hooked together. Oh my god! Oh. And we survived. Nothing says beta like hitting a freaking tree in an airplane. And nothing negative happens here. Oh god, that's oh god, I've set myself on fire. Jeez. I would like to fix my airplane. We have taken objective Edward. Ugh. This is bad. Oh, I just got sniped out of the airplane. How 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 <laughs> <laughs>If you've been trying to buy a GTX 1080, then you know that this is one of the hardest graphics cards to find. Well, I've got good news for you because right now, Massdrop and MSI have teamed up to offer you the GTX 1080 Armor 8 GB OC Edition for a limited time. Click the link down in the description, head on over to Massdrop, and if you aren't a member already, sign up. It's absolutely free, and you can lock in your purchase of this extremely hard to get graphics card. So don't wait, head on over there right now. What's up guys, Jay's Two Cents here, and I have actually had several attempts at making this video so far for you guys on my first impressions and thoughts on Battlefield 1. And uh, I just kept failing, and I kept failing and kept failing at the video. And the problem was I was trying too hard to be good. And let's face it, I'm not very good at shooters anymore. I used to be very good, I'm not anymore. So here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna play the game, we're gonna have some fun, but to give you some ideas of what gameplay is like, I'll talk a little bit about the classes, and you guys can just spend the rest of the video laughing at me because I'm so bad. And with that said, we'll wait for the map to load, and then we'll go from there. Oh, hey, look, it loaded. That was quick. Now, one other thing, too, is if the screen looks all weird, obviously with me on the bottom and it's all super wide, well, I am running on an ultra-wide 21 by 9 34-inch screen. It's the X34 Predator. Um, I'm going to be playing here as the assault class because it's kind of an anti-tank class. It's got a lot of destructive properties about it. It's got these anti-tank grenades. It's got the uh, AT rocket gun. It's got grenades. Um, lots of fun stuff. But it's got all the usual classes like other battlefields. you got your medic, you got your support class, and you've got your sniper, of course. But um, I wish I could try different guns. I'm no good with the MP18. I think that's part of my problem. But uh, whatever. Let's, let's get going here. The game is so realistic looking and sounding. I, man, I love Battlefield, um, except for Hardline. I didn't, I didn't like Hardline a lot at all. Now, one thing I want you guys to remember is this: this is a an alpha. Whoa, this is an alpha. This is not a release or an early access. So there are bugs, there are glitches, and sometimes they're funny and sometimes they're frustrating. But you cannot judge the final game based on what you're going to see here. Ugh, the gun wouldn't deploy. Try to get my AT gun on that little, that little personal carrier there. Let's go blow this guy up. Boom! You're dead. Okay, so that yellow gas, that is, that is bad gas. I kind of like me after I eat burritos. Hold on. We have taken objective Freddy. Uh, bing! Oh, it went over him. I really want to hit that guy, but now he's moving. Oh, there's a guy right there. He's gonna shoot me. I can feel it. Got him. I need to get my anti-tank grenades out. I don't know why I'm gonna kill this guy. This guy's just rolling up here with a tank. Nope, he kept on going. I need ammos, guys. It's not when it's up. I need the ammos. Oh, jeez, ow. Yeah, some of the snipers in this game are good. He headshotted me. Oh, that was over quickly. I guess we'll move into a new map then. One of the things I think is cool though is the, the map as you just saw right there. Um, it's it's the actual rendered game. You can see what's happening. It's not it's not like a satellite image like Battlefield 4. But I do like on the fact that this game doesn't have an abundance of BS like thermal optics and 
and heat sensors and heart rate sensors and all that weird kind of stuff. This this game, it's uh, it's realistic as like what it would have been like in World War One. I, I would have to assume. So now I'm in a fighter plane. One of the things that sucks about the fighter planes is, oh my God, nobody's helping me here. They are like paper, just like in real life, I assume. They are paper planes, so small arms fire and all kinds of things actually make these planes damaged. They get damaged super easily. Dogfights are really fun in World War II planes, though. This guy's like, evasive maneuvers, evasive maneuvers. We have taken objective I'm gonna shoot him down. I have to be careful of all the flak fire on the ground, though. We have taken objective Disable this lane. Got him. Got him! Alright, let's go after this guy over here. Over here. I'm under attack now. Holy moly. We have taken objective Do some evasive maneuvers here. I'm not used to flying with a mouse. I normally fly with joystick. So right now this is very foreign to me. I'm getting kind of dizzy. Oh dear. Where'd the plane go? I just do this. Help out the guys on the ground. I'm a fighter plane though. I do my best work is going to be up in the sky. Okay, this guy's on my hit, my six now. These planes are not very powerful either. You have to keep that in mind. I mean, they're they're like little two-stroke engines. They're not very fast. Oh God, we made it, we made it back. Oh, so you can see my plane now. My wing is like on the left side, it's kind of broken apart. There is no repairing that. Oh, now at least they're both messed up. I'm kind of screwed here though. It's all right, let's see what I can do before I die here. See, the plane I'm attacking here, he has a tail gunner which kind of sucks, so he's shooting at me as I'm shooting at him. I cannot turn this plane though, because he's a he's an attack plane. See? We have lost objective yeah, we got him. We got him. Got him, yes! That's two kills now. Three, Killed two people in there. Problem is my plane is Kind of a battered mess at the moment. Let's go get this attack plane over here. If you guys remember on Battlefield 3 in four days, I am a pilot through and through. I always will be a pilot. Piloting is what I love. Don't crash into me, friendly. I got this guy. Oh no, he crashed into me, just like I said not to. Oh man. All right, let's kill him before I'm dead. Okay, he's disabled. That's good enough for me. Those are all hits. Those are hits. Can't turn very fast. My plane's slow. It's okay, we'll kill him. There, he's dead. Whoa, watch it, guy. That's three kills. Whoa, that was a big piece of flak right there. Let's do this. I've got to be really selective on where I go now. I've got to kind of... I have to kind of assist my other buddies here where I can and then get the hell out of there quickly. Without crashing into a friendly. Don't crash into me. Slow down. There, he's disabled. He dead. That's four kills. Seven to no, baby. He got already dead. 
Whoa, whoa, 17%, 9, 8, 6. Oh no. Ah, I could totally bail out. But I don't want to. Oof, yeah, I'll give him the kill. You want to be careful too in the planes when you turn, because when you turn, you present a larger target. With a oh geez, now they have a behemoth. The behemoths are kind of cool. The giant blimps are almost like Halfway gunships. We have the upper hand. Okay. Oh man, that was my, totally my fault. <laughs> this accident. That was gonna turn last second. I wanted to kill that guy and that gun. Ay ay ay. Oh look, there's another plane up already. Give it to me. Let's do this. There's the behemoth. Oh my. Oh, I hit him once. Yeah, I think the flying is pretty realistic in the sense that even small arms fire is going to put little holes in your wings and stuff that will affect the way they fly. When I first played this, before I even did this video, I was kind of mad, like, Damn it, the planes are way too weak sauce. But then I remembered that's how they were back then. I mean they really were like they were they were they were paper, wood, and fabric. I mean that's how they were built. And then they in World War One is when the first time planes were used in warfare, literally the bombers, the guys would throw the bombs over the side of the plane with their hands. There there was there was no they're not like today where they had armor and stuff, so it's really kind of realistic in my mind. Um, and I like it. I like it a lot. The music starts to get really intense towards the end, end of the game. That's always fun because it makes you play a little better. Like, oh man, it's like I'm in a movie. I'm in a movie. I like to post up here on these on these fences here with my anti-tank rocket. As long as I don't get sniped, I can do some serious damage with this thing. See? I saw that guy run around the smoke right there. Got another one. But now I'm getting sniped at, as you can see. There's a guy down here running up. Aw, oh, man. So you gotta watch out for the snipers, man. That guy was way back there in the hill. So yeah, anyway, guys, that's um, that's it. That is Battlefield 1 um, airplane action. Shows you guys, you guys know I like to fly. If you've been following me, me long enough and play, watch any of my old live streams on Battlefield 3, 4, whatever, flying is my thing. On the ground, eh. I can be kind of a bullet sponge to let other people do stuff that's actually worthwhile. But when it comes to flying, that's my thing. That's that's what I do. So, anyway, guys, time to get out of here. Thanks for watching this mediocre gameplay of me playing some Battlefield One. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, I'm gonna play more often. I'll probably live stream this game. Can't wait to see what the additional loadouts and stuff are gonna be. But with that said, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next mediocre J's Two Cents video. We'll keep it real around here. <laughs>